Who is the fastest animal in the world? I bet you're thinking about a lion or a cheetah. Who says a falcon? Or even a very fast running dog? I'm talking about movements that are way faster than that. Movements that happen that are completely invisible to us because they occur over such short time periods. Biologist Sheila Patek studies the biomechanics of fast movements in animals, most specifically in shrimp and ants. Say what? Yes, you heard it right. Shrimp and ants. Let's start with the shrimp, a very specific animal called the mantis shrimp that can produce the world's fastest punch. These animals um, use a really interesting combination of structures to be able to achieve extremely high speeds over a short time period. And this concept, it's called power amplification. And it's kind of a long word, power amplification, but it's sort of a simple concept. The human arm muscle is one example of a device that produces movement, but it doesn't really do much to amplify the power. To get power amplification, you need to add a bit more to the basic work performed by the muscle. But if you add in a bow and a string and you put that arrow on there, and you start to use some other structures, you start to store up elastic energy with when you pull that string and you let go and release that arrow, that arrow is going to fly very far and very fast. And when you start to see movements that are happening where they get that speed over a short time period, they're using this concept of power amplification. The mantis shrimp uses a similar simple energy storage system. Once the arm is cocked, a ratchet locks it firmly in place. The large muscle in the upper arm contracts and builds up energy. When the latch is released, the energy is released all at once and the lower arm is launched forward. But Patek found that even the system couldn't account for the mantis shrimp speed. Instead, the key to the punch is a small, stiff structure in the crook of the arm. When the arm is cocked, this structure is compressed and acts like a spring, storing up massive energy. When the latch is released, the spring expands and provides extra push for the punch, helping it to accelerate at up to 10,000 times the force of gravity. To put this in context, for us to break open the snail shell, we have to take a hammer in air and smash really hard to break the snail shell open. Whereas a mantis shrimp can just do it underwater with all of the fluids, dynamics, and the challenges of moving through water, and they can break it open with one blow. To be able to capture such fast movements and measure its speeds, Sheila has to shoot the animals in a high-speed camera at 20,000 frames per second. So we can see in slow motion a movement that happens in a blink of an eye. Sometimes the best discoveries are when you're not looking for them and you're just having fun observing um, biology or any kind of phenomenon. And sometimes it just happens and it's great. This was the case when she figured out that ants can produce a movement even faster than the mantis shrimp after being challenged by a scientist friend who said that the trap jaw ants were in fact the fastest animal. I don't know exactly what we expected. I guess we thought, I, th I think we were just going to have fun, you know. I guess this is what scientists do. We get together and have fun. And we just thought we'd film them jumping with their jaws just for kicks. We took the high-speed video and we played it back for the first time. It was just this crazy moment of, are we really seeing what we're seeing? Because what you see is this ant putting its head down and then it goes into the air and it starts slowly spinning and then it sort of pauses at the top like some kind of crazy acrobat and it's, you know, it lands down and collapses on its back or whatever and it's over. Of course, it doesn't hurt the ant, it's so light, it can land on any part and it won't break anything. The one centimeter sized ants are a really interesting comparison to the mantis shrimp. These ants have a pair of really big jaws that they can cock open and hold open like this relative to their heads. And what they do is they store, they use big slow contracting muscles to store elastic energy and then they release these little trigger, the little latches, and the jaws slam closed to stun prey. The jaws are not only used to catch the prey, but are actually used for jumping. They put their head down and fire their jaws against the ground, launching themselves up into the air, spinning around and landing far away from a predator. A trap show ant can jump 20 times its body length. So it can jump from a little ant like this big can jump 
um, considerably farther than its actual body length. And this means that someone my size, if I had a nice comparably sized pair of jaws that I could fire against the ground, would propel me 132 feet away. So it's amazing what they can do and they really are able to go very far distances. The tech reveals her secret behind the science exploration that leads to these awesome discoveries. We're humans and we make mistakes. And if I have any approach to science, it is that I assume that I'm gonna make a mistake. And the, the assumption that I'm gonna make a mistake means that I'm constantly looking for mistakes. And I go back and I look at my work and I think, well, where's the mistake? What did I do wrong here? Constantly looking back and forth and comparing things and thinking, oh, there's something that doesn't look quite right here. Is that a real thing from science or is that a mistake that I made? So I have this philosophy of, I am going to make mistakes, I have to find them. Find the activities in the Curiosity Machine to build very fast machines inspired by animals.